What's up guys and gals, Roy from Roy's Customs. Gonna do a little bit of a review on something that I use quite a bit of. It's a uh, Rust-Oleum Primer. This is actually the Sealer Primer. Um, as a matter of fact, I love this stuff. It covers really well and it does protect the metal. Um, if you're doing like body work and you're just doing like small sections at a time and you know, you're not gonna paint the car immediately, um, you, you want to protect your metal and this is a good way to do it um, because and, and it's not expensive I mean it actually I can I did the whole other side plus I did part of this one side of my S10 truck bed and just now ran out so uh, well you know there's just bits and pieces here and there that wasn't like the whole bedside but anyways um, I really got to say that uh, this is pretty amazing stuff. Uh, I've been using the Rust-Oleum uh, sealer primer for a long time. Uh, they actually have some other stuff too. Uh, well, I don't have that can anymore. But uh, anyways, they have like a filler primer. They have just regular primer. They got sandable primer, which is sanding primer. It helps you kind of smooth out like small stuff. Um, if you're not going to spend, if you're just going to fix like a fender or something, you could use cans of stuff, but, um, if you're going to do like an entire car, but you're doing little pieces of body work here and there, because say you got a dented fender and you've got a dented back end and, and say there's a dent in the door and, and just little stuff here and there that you got to fix before you actually do the whole thing. You know, you can use this stuff and it actually works quite well. Um, like I say, this can is empty. And I may be able to shake a little bit out of it, but probably not much to do anything with. But um, anyways, uh, if you're doing little pieces here and there, fixing stuff and or something, and then, you know, because basically if you're going to do a professional style job, you're going to get like a gallon of the good epoxy primer and and you're going to get a gallon of paint and, and you're going to want to make sure that you've got plenty of supplies to be able to paint the whole car all at once but if you're doing spots you're doing little spots here and there then then it's okay just go ahead and grab you a couple of cans of the filler primer the sealer primer and the regular primer just you know if if you're going through and just patching up little stuff here and there um it's not something that you really want to make permanent um it, but it is still pretty good stuff and it'll last quite a while um this will the primer will um I have had some issues with some of the paint that I've actually gotten from Rust-Oleum, but I'm not here to talk about that. Um, but I think that might have kind of been my fault. I didn't prep it right before I actually had rattle canned it. But um, normally if I paint something, and if I'm going to paint like a whole car, I'll go get the good epoxy primer, you know. I'll have, I'll have to sand everything all back down on that truck and make sure it's nice and smooth before I actually shoot it with the final coat of primer. And then once that's done, then I'll be able to, I'll be able to actually uh, finish sand it. Um, and you'll want to finish sand it. I usually fin finish sand it with like some 320 or some 400 grit. I, I don't get uh, too high of a grit because then it's just way too smooth and then the paint don't want to stick to it. But uh, anyways, um, that's my little take on the, uh, the Rust-Oleum uh, Sealer Primer. It's pretty good stuff. I, I've been using it a lot over the years on different cars that I've had and stuff and and like I say it's pretty good stuff um, I like it uh, I'm, I'm not trying to sell it to you I'm just uh, saying it's what I use um, so hey if if you got little projects you want to do it's good to use or if you're doing like small patchwork and you got to keep doing it until you get the whole car done there you go you could use you some rust-oleum um, all right 
guys and gals, that's it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and have a spectacular day or night, whichever one it is for you. Peace out.